Welcome, Hamish. Bespoke a a Italian wallpaper has arrived in New Zealand. It sounds very, very posh. I want to fondle your wallpapers in a moment. <laughs> well, you might need to to move, can you move your yeah, coffee? Move I don't want to spill over these ones. OK, so it's what do you mean when you say bespoke wallpaper? OK, well, we all know that you can go and buy wallpaper in a roll, mm -hmm. put it up on the wall, yes. poorly like myself if you have a turn at it. <laughs> yeah. OK, this is, this, this, this is not cheap stuff. This is expensive. And um, it comes in set pattern ways, but you can alter those pattern ways and order them in sections. Okay. This one okay. looks like it's had water spilt on it. Well, yeah. Okay. This this is this is the catch, right? So it's hard for people to see at home, but I've put them here for you to have a little touch and feel. Oh, yeah. Look, see if you just hold that up like that, you can just catch the light on it. You can. You, see you it can. Yeah. Okay. So they are not only is it a picture. But it is heavily embossed, so this is much like the anagalypto wallpapers you used to be able to buy in days gone past. Mm -hmm. But on top of that, they add a lot more depth and texture with clear acrylics that go across the top. So we've got pictures. You can see there what we've got on the screen. Yes. That is what we have in front of us here. That looks beautiful, actually. Yeah. Well, That's they are it. very pretty. I mean, don't get me wrong. These are not going to be for everyone, and everyone's going to have their thing. They're going to say, hey, that one's great, and um, I prefer this one. It's less patterned and textured. Mm -hmm. I like this one particularly. This is a sort of a setting of houses. Oh, yeah, that's What nice. you do need is you do need some depth, I feel, to them. So you, you can't exactly put this down a hallway wall. I think you're going to lose the impact of it because you're going to be up too close. So I guess uh, when you're doing a wall like this, you just want one part of the wall or do you want the, the whole wall? How well, do you know well, I would, fit? These are designed to the whole wall. So what they do is, because a lot of people ask that question, yeah. they're like, OK, we can see the picture of it on a yeah. huge wall there. How's it work? You take a photograph of your wall. Mm -hmm. They then break it down for you, and you send them the measurements, of course. Right. From that point, they will then tailor the mural to oh, your wall tiger. size, OK? So you don't, oh. it doesn't just turn up in rolls randomly and you right. order it with a certain pattern. Yeah, oh, I've run out. I've only got half the tiger <laughs> in the know, corner. I know, I know. Look, this, well, you don't, for example, you don't want the tiger head to be in the corner or something crazy like that and yeah. run out of space. So the point is, they custom make it, hence why it becomes bespoke to your wall, and it becomes more of a mural. Nice. OK, so what else is unique about these? Well, here we go. They're, they're eco-friendly, nice. apparently. That's okay. the word. OK. Um, they're water-resistant. So these can go into bathrooms. Whoa. So we can hark back to the 80s where people used to, you know, chuck wallpaper in bathrooms. That's a favourite one of mine. Funnily enough, Jasmine, the producers, thought that was a wolf and a unicorn. <laughs> That's just a fox and a horse. But nonetheless, <laughs> we love creativity. These are absolutely <laughs> stunning and they actually all have quite a different texture to them. Yeah. This one feels almost like They fabric. do. I mean, this is the hard thing. It's hard to explain for people um, on television, but they feel amazing. most of this they is the amazing. texture. And it is the, the reflective nature. What of do you need to look out for? What are the, the traps, the, down, the pitfalls of... Checking out the sort of bespoke wallpaper, what do you need to be careful of? Well, one thing is going to be the cost. They are dearer, uh, and you have to be aware of that. You're not just going down the road and buying some wallpaper. You are buying a piece of art for the wall, effectively. Mm -hmm. So it's how you're going to use it. You probably don't want to use it if you're a person who's into a lot of stuff, because it's going to start cluttering the room up massively. Do you but want people to touch innocent. your wallpaper? <laughs> well, yeah, this weird. is the thing. Sorry, I've just funneled every single it, piece it of the It has book. texture, uh, yeah, and, it, and a lot of them are very 3D, as you can see. Like, Woo! I guess, you know what, they're vinyl, they're water resistant, so you can go up and clean them and scrub them down if you need to. Yeah, so I say people should touch them. Everything's about texture. Right. Have a bit days. of a fondle of your wallpaper. Yeah. Where can you find them? You can find these, crazily enough, at the Tile Depot. Oh, OK. I nice. know. This is where, one of those cases where you roll in to look for one thing and you come out with something else. I did. Went to look for tiles, came out with wallpaper. Well, I can understand why, because these are absolutely amazing. They I love are. Them. There's something different. Yeah. Hey, Mish, that's wonderful. Can you just like leave this for us to play with? <laughs> I'll leave it there for you to play with. Yeah, Very tactile. Just want to play with it. Thank you so much, Hey, Mish. Stunning stuff. And we have some more home inspiration or home design inspiration a little bit later on in the show with Creative Living's Kate Alexander.